I had set up one of my IBM Model 3286s when I found out that what I wanted to do required some things that I hadn't ready. So I decided to try the thing that is in this box. Let's open it up. Again, like my previous two videos, the item is very nicely packed. I think I purchased what is in the box about two years ago on the Dutch version of eBay and never got around to opening it. I got it from the person who made it, although I'm not really sure why they would get rid of it, seeing it's an interesting thing. So here it is. Interesting layout, not very standard. The metal on the case looks very nice and symmetrical. A homebrew Model M, or F. I sometimes feel that this type of key, the ones used in the IBM wheel writers, feels a bit more like the Model F than a Model M. I think this was an electronics project and it's powered by an Arduino. That is probably hiding behind this glued panel. Let's connect it to the PS2 and move the Model M. For those who might be wondering what is a Model F or a Model M, well, they are both keyboards that used to be produced by IBM. Here we have an example of a Model M and a Model F, both released in 1984 and 1981 respectively. This channel is turning a bit into one on vintage commercials over the last period, but again I found two interesting examples. The first one is just a random fun ad on typewriters. Let's raise the TV for another one. Interestingly, this one contains a version of the wheel writer that has the same layout as the keyboard it that I got. It started in 1933 with our first electric. Then came typing that looked like printing. The revolutionary Selectric. And Selectrics that correct mistakes. 1984. IBM introduces the Selectric System 2000. The wheel writer typewriters and the quiet writer typewriter. A new generation of typewriters from the company that makes the typewriters secretaries prefer most. Off on a tangent on typewriters you didn't ask for. But I do own a wheelwriter and have owned one before that sadly broke. My functioning one is an IBM 7688. Also a couple months ago I picked up this IBM typewriter that was featured in the commercial as being released in 1948. Awesome look, but weighs the same as a big boat anchor. Back to what we are here for, the homebrew Model M. I connected it to my PS2 and turned the computer on. Since it's a non-standard layout and this computer asks you to press F1 on boot up, I had to reference the picture the seller sent me with the different controls. So to get F1 you press the code button next to the spacebar and 1. I expected that it wouldn't be registered by the PS2, but immediately it registered and the computer booted into DOS. I have a couple word processors installed on the hard drive of this computer, because who needs games, right? So let's try Worth Perfect first. The keyboard is quite easy and intuitive to use. So I went to the directory of Word Perfect and loaded WP, which weirdly had a read error. Well, okay, after 40 years it's not so weird that the hard drive is having some trouble. I'll see if I can reinstall it later. In every lot of software I buy, I find a couple bootleg Word Perfect disks, so that won't be a problem. Moving on to Letter Perfect, I forgot how ginormous these directories are. This program did want to load and as expected I could start writing. One issue the keyboard seems to have is that the C is not always registering, which was annoying while trying to load the directories with the CD command. As I said, I had a wheel writer that broke. The biggest part I sadly had to bring to recycling, but what I did keep is the keyboard, which opens up the possibility for me to try to make one too. The layout of this keyboard is different though. This one still has the old controller board with a bunch of ICs, a Texas Instruments chip that I couldn't find anything on, and an Intel microcontroller. Interestingly, they both have stickers on them with Netherlands written on them. I know IBM had a plant in the Netherlands, but I'm not sure if they made typewriters here or only this part. I would love to show what the brains of this keyboard look like, but it appears to have been glued together and I do not want to damage it. What I do want to do is a bit of a sound test and compare the two. So I got out my trusty Zoom recorder. Let's listen.
The homebrew is a bit softer to type on and the springs on the Model M feel a bit better. So maybe in the future I will attempt to make one of these myself. I found a couple pages online about it. But for now I'm going to keep enjoying this weird Frankenstein of a keyboard. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.